Now, donors are uh, raising concerns about Ron DeSantis's potential run for president. The Washington Post reports that enthusiasm for the Florida governor's bid for the White House has rapidly cooled, confronting DeSantis with a considerably more difficult political outlook for the campaign he is expected to launch. The Post continues donors, activists, and other supporters are increasingly voicing worries that DeSantis has made unforced errors or embraced extreme positions that could hurt him in a general election, including the abortion ban at six weeks that he signed last week. The paper continues. He has struck some Republicans in, as distant in personal interactions. Some Republicans trace DeSantis' struggle to lock down endorsements in part to his insularity and said he should have done more to cultivate relationships. One Republican mega donor, Home Depot founder Ken Langone, tells The Post that it wouldn't hurt for DeSantis to be a little more conciliatory in his demeanor, while noting that he worries about the resurgence of former President Donald Trump, whom he previously backed but argues cannot win another general election. And, and that's a weird time and time again. He's not conciliatory to other people. We heard about uh, Congressman Stubbe, who, uh, after he got hurt falling off yeah. the roof, um, um, and in really bad shape. Ron DeSantis didn't uh, call him, didn't reach out to him. Donald Trump did immediately. Uh, there's a press conference impacting his district. The governor says, this is my press conference. You're not allowed up here, basically. Uh, all, of, all of this is, it's politics 101, and Ron DeSantis is not good at politics 101. Uh, and, and, you know, Willie, this, this attack on Disney... <coughs> Which, you know, I've just said is stupid from the beginning, really dumb from the start. Um, it, it, it's, it's gotten a lot tougher, especially we've talked about it because Bob Iger is now back at Disney. And Iger is a guy who has so much respect among all the donors, among, among people on Wall Street, among, among my gosh, uh, all the people that Ron DeSantis would want to support him. Uh, and and he's making a mistake. And, and <laughs> gotta say, it's pretty funny watching Iger just slowly turn up the heat on him because you're not gonna beat Iger if you're Ron DeSantis. Like Meatball Ron, as Trump says, versus Bob Iger. Yeah, it's not a close call. Yeah, no, that's not a fight that Governor DeSantis likely is going to win, and yet he con continues to bore down into that issue and get himself deeper in the hole on it. Bob Iger has called Governor DeSantis' position anti-business, and that is something that's been shared by many Republicans, people running against Ron DeSantis, Republicans in the Senate uh, saying that this is a crazy position to take, that it's anti-business. And it was Governor Christie, who's considering a run himself, who said, when did Republicans be the ones who got their feelings hurt about one thing and went after a private company to punish them for it? Uh, he's facing Governor DeSantis' new criticism about that ongoing battle with Disney. Here is the take of uh, Fox Business host and former advisor to Donald Trump, Larry Kudlow. I just want to observe that Governor DeSantis is close to making a fool of himself with his Walt Disney obsession. This has been going on now for months and months and months, and I would argue that it is unseemly, number one. A governor should not be come crashing down on, if not the biggest, one of the biggest businesses. I don't like Disney's politics either, their woke politics. My guess is Bob Iger is going to change that. But whatever. I, uh, DeSantis should make a deal and stop already. He's not running against Walt Disney for president. Join the conversation, CEO of the Messina Group, Jim Messina. He served as White House Deputy Chief of Staff to President Obama and ran his 2012 re-election campaign. Jonathan Lemire, Jen Psaki with us as well. Um, so, Jim, I'll ask you, I know you're no supporter of Ron DeSantis, but just as a keen political observer and someone who knows how to win elections, how's this going so far for Governor DeSantis? <laughs> Not very well. I mean, <laughs> who has better numbers than Mickey Mouse? I mean, this is insane. Who's had more great times in their lives than people at Disney World? And you start to pick these fights, and it sounds like a good idea. You're throwing around the spitball ideas at the end of the day, and 
throw out a press release, fine. But month after month of this, and I totally agree with Joe, Bob Iger is a very smart political and business operative, and he's just going to make DeSantis twist here. I have a theory about how to win the, a presidential campaign. You have to have some magic. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama had magic. Donald Trump is the best counterpuncher we've seen. I was recently with DeSantis at a conference, and I spent a bunch of time watching him work the room. Willie, really, there's no magic here. I think he is one of the most overestimated politicians uh, of the recent past. And I think the national stage is starting to become hard for him. And John, let's just take a look at his trip to Washington over the last couple of days. That is, if Jim Messina were running that operation, you have all the endorsements wired before you step foot into Washington. You go shake some hands. You have the photo op afterward. He comes out of those meetings and a bunch of them go endorse Donald Trump. He comes away, I think, with one endorsement with a congresswoman who he had appointed right. secretary of state and certainly owed him a right. favor. Um, but he's just so far anyway, he's not even in the race, doesn't appear to be very good at this. Yeah, it, it's been amateur hour so far. I mean, he, he as you say, he went to D.C., he, he snuck in a back door, one wave to a camera, met with some lawmakers. Short time later, one of those lawmakers stepped outside and endorsed Donald Trump. Uh, I mean, that, you know, and, and Trump then proceeded to unveil several other endorsements from Florida members of the Florida delegation, the state that, of course, DeSantis and Trump both share. It, it, it's politics one-on-one. It's basic blocking and tackling, and, and Trump is winning so far. And, and, and Jim, also, there's the questions about what DeSantis' priorities are. It's not just picking a fight with Mickey Mouse and Disney World, the happiest place on earth. That's the <laughs> slogan. Uh, and he's losing that fight. But also, he's been on this national book tour and ignored problems in his backyard. There's been major flooding in Fort Lauderdale. There's a gas shortage right now in South Florida, and he is nowhere to be found. Oh, he's an opposition researcher's best dream, right? He's letting all these things go. And what is he doing at home? He's passing a six-week abortion ban that will make him death in a general election. And, and, and running around the country trying to be a presidential campaign while his state is falling apart. It's, it's just basic block and tackling of a presidential campaign. You have to have these things lined up. You have to make sure you take care of home first. George Bush was the best example of that. Texas was locked for him, and he understood how to make it a national laboratory and how to move his message. DeSantis has no idea what he's doing, and he's surrounding himself with people who don't either. And you know this, retail politics matters in a presidential race. You have to get in these rooms and persuade very tough people who are convinced they're way smarter than you are that they should support you for president of the United States. And he's been unable to do that in places like his home state where it should be a layup. And Joe, let's remember why Governor DeSantis is going to the mat against Disney, the largest private employer in the state of Florida, the largest taxpayer in the state of Florida, the reason tourism existed in the first place and continues to exist in the state of Florida. It's because he was offended that the former CEO criticized the bill that Mika was just talking about that's now been expanded through 12th grade, where you can't talk about sexual orientation or gender identity in a classroom. He was upset that the former CEO crossed him on that one issue, and now he's in this months-long fight with Mickey Mouse. You know, you, 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 you got a lot of, th you, if you're in politics, Jen Psaki, you know this so well, the ones who are great at, we'll just say, the game of, of like <laughs> running for office and winning, mm. Are the ones with short memories. I remember Bill Clinton telling me a long time ago, and the fact that Bill Clinton was talking to me at that time meant that he lived it. Yeah, Bill Clinton, tells you everything. Bill Clinton said, if you're a governor or a president, or you want to be a governor or a president, there is no greater political gift than a short memory. Let it go <laughs> off your back. Don't yeah. fight every fight. This is what was Donald Trump's ultimate curse, is he could never let an insult go by. And here's Ron DeSantis picking a fight with, with Florida's favorite company, Disney. It's not even a company. It's a magic kingdom with Florida's favorite baseball team because they tweeted out a tweet after Uvalde um, with cruise liners because in the middle of COVID, they wanted people to wear masks if they came on the cruise ships because they knew that's the only way people would come on the cruise ships. You know, telling small businesses what they could and couldn't do, like this, because he wanted to prove these small little points. Like, this is insanity. And I've got to believe Republicans are going, we just lost seven years in a row because of one guy that had to respond to every little tweak. Mm -hmm. And now we have another who is actually fighting 
the Magic Kingdom and Mickey Mouse and Bob Iger because of something that was said about a bill months ago. Yeah, I mean, he's proved himself to be a bit of a fragile flower, as you, as you kind of alluded yeah. to there. And you can't be in presidential politics. I know that from working for multiple presidential campaigns on the, on the other side of the aisle.